Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 254. I'm always looking for things that are, might be of some value to my viewers. And I ran across something the other day that it's not perfect, but it's kind of interesting, and it's kind of a good little cheat sheet. doesn't have everything on it. Oh, what the heck, I'm just going to show it to you. Stand by. Here we go. got to push the right button here. And it's somewhere around here. Ah, there it is. It's a, uh, I found this on the internet. I don't remember where I found it. I think it was in a message or something on, but it was a um, kind of an overall shortwave guide. And it, in shortwave, it's just, you know, it's just uh, the shortwave band. It's nothing uh, below that. It's not uh, VHF. It's not. UHF. It's just a shortwave band. And kind of what's on the shortwave band? What kind of things are there to listen to on your shortwave radio? So I'm going to quickly go through this. I'm not going to go touch on every entry because there's a lot of entries here. Somebody did a lot of work. I took it and um, I made it a little more readable and I highlighted uh, certain things. Like I highlighted in green the parts of the shortwave band that are for the amateur radio amateur or, well that's easier for me to say amateur radio operators and uh, then I highlighted that in green I highlighted all of them in yellow first so it just the frequency was, would stand out then I went back and highlighted the ones in green for the amateur radio bands again this is just HF there's lots of other amateur radio bands above HF and then in aqua, my favorite color, no, not really, uh, I highlighted the international broadcast bands. So I'm going to quickly go through this. Um, but it had, you know, whoever did this did, you know, kind of a quick and dirty description of kind of these areas. And it's, it's kind of useful to sit down and mark some things that you can look for on your shortwave radio. So as you can see here on this first page, uh, the uh, 1800 to 2000 kilohertz is the 160 meter hand band. And then we drop down here and uh, two, 2300 to 2498 kilohertz is the 120 meter broadcast band. And it says it's mainly used by stations in the tropics. Hmm, that, that kind of makes sense. However, the SFC, and I don't know how old this information, you know, this, this information could be quite old. It might be outdated, but it, in general, I think it's okay. And I hear what's saying, however, the FCC allows WWCR in Nashville, Tennessee to broadcast here and other may follow. So that's kind of interesting. Here's some uh, maritime stations are found down in this area here. Jumping along, and here it says, um, from 3200 to 3400 kilohertz, this is a very interesting segment. This is the 90 meter broadcast band, used, mainly used by stations in the tropic again. Canada standard time frequency stations can be heard on 3330, and some other things. Best reception will be at night. Okay. Here's the 80 meter amateur radio band in green here. Going on down here is the 60 meter broadcast band, international broadcast band from 4750 to 4995. Let's see what else. This is an interesting comment. This range is a real jumble. Several broadcasting stations are found in the lower part of this segment and fixed in mobile stations in single sideband RTTY and CW are found throughout this band. It's kind of interesting. That, yeah, I found a lot of interesting things around 5 megahertz and just above. Okay, here's another international broadcast band, 49 meter. Uh, here's the 40 meter amateur radio band. 
And it's interesting, it, it also, whoever did this, is, it's got these little notes about best reception is from late afternoon to early morning. Although some hands can usually be heard or hear around the clock. That's very true of the 40-meter band. That's probably the most active band, uh, probably 20 meters, another most active kind of all the time. Drop down here, here's, <clears throat> excuse me, the 31-meter international broadcast band. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's see what else we got. Here's the 30 meter uh, hand band. I never have found much in that band. Don't know why. Here's the 25 meter international band at 11650 to 11975. Now here's, let me back up here. At a very uh, active aeronautical band. Or actually, frequency is 11, 175 kilohertz. I listen to that quite often. And you can hear the uh, communications, Air Force communications to airplanes flying all over the world. Here's the 22 meter international band. Not had much luck with that band. Here's a 20 meter hand band. That's a very active man band. Um, Especially in the um, digital modes. Digital modes are used quite a bit in this amateur radio band. Here's the 19 meter international band. The 16 meter international band. The 17 meter ham radio band. And there's, uh, it says the WWV is on 20 megahertz or 20,000 kilohertz. Here's the 13 meter international band. Best reception is during the daytime. Yeah. Yeah, 15 megahertz to about 22 megahertz is not too bad in the daytime if conditions are good. And then here's a, a bunch of kind of federal and military frequencies here. Here's the 12 meter ham radio band. I hadn't found too much on that. Here's a civil air patrol frequencies. Citizen band radio. It's right there at 26965 to 2740. Oops, I forgot to say. Okay, Hertz. Fix that. Do a save. And then here's the. Uh, 10 meter ham band that boy I, it seems like this season this has been very active conditions have been just right very active so anyway that's kind of the listing um, if you're interested in getting a copy of this listing I can email it to you or try to email it to you uh, just send me an email at trrs73 at gmail.com so I hope this was of uh, some use, and uh, you know, it's, like I say, this is kind of a neat little reference that you set down by your uh, Shoei radio, and uh, when you got interest in doing some tuning across the band, this gives you some kind of areas to look at, or vice versa, if you're just tuning across the band and you hit a frequency, you can kind of look it up here and see, uh, no, what is this supposed to be? You know, it sounds like uh, some aeronautical communications. Now, also note, some of these are uh, USB, so they're single sideband transmissions. So if you don't have single sideband, you'll have a trouble understanding what's going on there. So that's the show for tonight. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers and all the support. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.